Hey, Corey here, Canadian RC guy. Well, we're back working on this track. We're almost done. Soon, we're gonna be out here ripping it up. Give me a second and I'll turn this camera around and I'll show you what we got left to do. So right here, we just gotta cut this little tree out. It's only gonna take us a minute. We got the one big rock out. We still got our sledgehammer. We're gonna see if we can whack this big one out because we can't lift it out for the life of us. The wife came and helped me. It's still in that hole. So we're gonna give it a couple of whacks, break it into a few pieces. We'll get that thing yanked out. We got a little bit of dirt left to move, but that's gonna be for over on this side of the track. We've been spending most of our time, and I mean a lot, pulling out all these uh, vines, I guess, or Probably a lot of them are roots from some of these trees. So we've been going along, pulling them out. We got about to here. We still got a little bit left to do right to about that corner. And then there's just a few odd ones along here. A few big ones along the edges that we got to yank out. But that's pretty much it. Then we're going to go along, give it a rake. We're going to take some of that dirt from the other side. And just cover it along here just to give it a little bit of extra dirt. Um, but other than that, we're going to be done, I think. We got still a little things to do eventually in the future, like add some wood to the corner to bank them up a little bit more, things like that. But for the first trip, we should be able to do it here pretty soon. So give me a little bit. I'm gonna go back to pulling out all this stuff out of the ground and I'll bring you back in a little while and show you where we're at. Well, it's the next day. We've been working hard. Figured we'd bring you back and do a little walk around the track. Um, so we got piles like this of all those vines and roots. Um, well, still a little bit of raking to do and stuff, but clean up. You know, another pile here. There has been tons and tons of it. It's taken us forever. Another big pile here. And we're bumping around the corner. And this is another, just one of our piles of dirt to go. Uh, another here to the jump. As you can see, we're uh, we got to do a big rake in here, a little bit of filling and smoothing out. Still these piles of dirt here to move around the corner. Our other jump here, up here we're pretty good. We're gonna do another uh, run of the grass killing there, the salt, the soap, and uh, vinegar. Now we'll get the last of these weeds and stuff out of the way. Another pile of dirt to get through. All our weeds, we're gonna clean up through the center. We're gonna grab all these rocks and stuff. Another pile over there, another pile here. We're just gonna make a big pile over off to the side over here somewhere. Um, so eventually we can make ourselves a nice big crawler course. Another big jump here. And our last thing we're gonna do is this rock. And we're not sure what we're gonna do, um, to be honest. We can't move it. We may end up just getting it turned back sideways, cover it with dirt, and it may be a double jump. One there, sorry, one there, and then the next one will be right here. So either you make it or you don't. Uh, we've got a hole to fill in here from the tree. A little bit of rock here, we gotta fill in some more dirt and then continue to clean up our vines. So another hour or two, we should be ready to go. Bring the weed whacker back, get some of these uh, vines and weeds in the center cleaned up. But it uh, won't be too much longer, and we're gonna be turning some laps. So give me a little bit, and we'll be back. 2,000 years later. Well, we're getting close to done, so I figured I'd bring it back. Get all the dirt and stuff moved. You can see this side's ready. Up around the corner, we got one little pile up there to move. We're just gonna move it off to this side and save it to fill any holes and that kind of stuff. Um, we got a jump there. We got probably a little dip right there that we're gonna probably have to fill in maybe. Um, but the rest of it's pretty good. Go around the corner here, we're good. Take a walk up. We got our, another big jump right here. And walk over top. And back up around that corner. Down around here. To our last big jump. And then back around to the corner. Big rock is gone, the tree is gone. Pretty much all the vines and roots are gone, or at least tossed into the center. We're just gonna spend a few minutes cleaning up, get some more of uh, the, the rocks and stuff tossed off to the side, get all our machinery and junk moved out of the way, and uh, I think it's time to start ripping. Later tonight, we're gonna lay down another treatment of our grass killer. We got a little bit up there in the corner that we need to kill, and a little bit on the far edge. Um, but other than that, it's time to start going. So give me a little bit, and we'll be back. We're gonna be running around this track. Finally. Well, after what feels like forever, 
I think it's time to start giving this track its uh, test run. If you can see in behind me, we got all the dirt cleaned up, stuff like that. We got a few piles of rocks, stuff like that, but we'll clean it up after. A little bit of weeds and stuff here to clean up along the inside. But uh, really, it's looking pretty good. I'm sure we're gonna have lots of uh, raking and stuff like that to do. Some holes to fill in, stuff like that. I'm not sure how these jumps are gonna hold up. We'll figure that out here soon, I guess. But uh, I think it's time to go give this thing a run. So give me a minute, we're gonna get this camera set up. Let's turn some laps. A few moments later. All right, here we go. We're just gonna turn a few laps. It's just, uh, camera's not quite big enough to be able to get the couple little corners here, but uh, after we turn a few laps, we'll get it set up in a few different spots so you can see the whole thing. Oh, right off the corner. Oh, I think. I forgot, we got one pile of dirt back there we didn't move. Squirrely. Whoa, rolled over my back again. Oh. We're gonna have to get rid of that uh, pile of dirt over there. Messing up our whole line. Oh, oh, I think we're stuck back there. We uh, we definitely have some flattening out to do on this track. We're gonna have to go and buy one of those uh, those tampers there so we can start packing things down, that kind of thing. But uh, but for the first little rip around, it's not too bad. Other than that jump right there, we're gonna have to get rid of that. That's for sure. Oh, right over the other side. But uh, really, I guess I can't complain. It'd be nice if it was a little bit bigger, or maybe eventually we'll have to uh, make it a little bit bigger, that kind of thing. But, oh no, I think we're stuck right on that stupid dirt. All right. You know what? Give us a couple minutes. We'll be right back. We're going to scoop that dirt out of there. So there we go. We knocked that corner out of there, or that, that dirt out of there. So that should... Definitely help a little bit. I think our, I honestly think our car is almost too fast for this size. Should have almost had the track a little bit bigger. But uh, the, the monster truck and stuff will definitely be good down here. And some of the other cars that we got coming up on the channel will definitely gonna like this track. They're a little bit slower than this. This, uh, oh, stupid thing. Give us one sec. Definitely gonna have to work on that corner a little bit. But, uh, yeah, with some of the other cars that we got, they're a little bit slower, so uh, that'll definitely help. Once we get uh, some wood to put around the corners so we can bank the corners up, that should definitely help as well. I really got to work on my steering. It's been a long time since I've been out on track, that's for sure. But uh, well, definitely once we get turning some laps, it's going to be a fun, fun little thing. Can't wait. Whoa, right into those rocks. I knew we should have moved those. We can, uh, well... We'll see if we can go for a rip around the other way, maybe. I'm not, even, I'm not sure if the, there we go. I'm not sure if the jumps are really set up to uh, to go the opposite way around the track, but there, that was a great jump. Once we're starting to get some things worked in, starting to figure out my way around here. Oh, right up into the corner again. There we go, at least we can get out that way. I think, uh, oh, sorry, I had to niche, well, swat the bug around. I um, think something uh, four-wheel drive will definitely be a little bit nicer ripping around this track. Yeah. We're trying to go the opposite way. The, uh, the two-wheel drive, though, it's, it's doing okay. But like I said, I think it's a little bit too fast. Whoa! As you can see, the jumps aren't quite meant to go the opposite way. Get up in there. We may have to find ourselves uh, a set of better tires, too. These just factory tracks as tires, they work okay, but... Oh, a big old tumble over there. But uh, we may have to find ourselves a little bit... Something a little more dirt-oriented. So if you guys have any suggestions on tires, drop them down in the comments. We'd appreciate it. There we go. That's a good one over there. 
Nice, this thing lands pretty damn good, I'd have to say. We have to, oh, see if we can get on through there. We have to build ourselves, I think, a nice little basher park somewhere off to the side. Somewhere with some nice big jumps, that kind of stuff where we can really just send it. Oh, nose dive. That was good though. Well, give me a second here. And I think uh, we're going to get this camera turned around and this video off. Now we can get back to doing a little bit of uh, track maintenance, you know, finish getting this thing prepped and ready to go for uh, some actual real lap turning. But uh, we've got to get ourselves, like I said, one of those tampers that's really going to help things out. And uh, we need to go through our Traxxas link with this car. I think that should really, whoa, should really help us with some of our settings um, once we get some of that played around with. Oh, right off the end. But, uh, all right, give us a second. We'll be right back. Figured I'd take you on the walk to get the car here. So, yeah, like I said, there's still lots to do on this track. Uh, we're going to get by a tamper so we can really get this thing padded down, do some work on the jumps. It's just a little bit of grass to kill, some weeds to kill. Nothing huge. But I'd say for a first run, that was pretty successful. Um... If you guys have any suggestions on what we should do to this track, drop them down in the comments. And tires for this thing should let us know. If you have any suggestions on what you guys run, drop them down there as well. And I guess if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that we can see all the fun that we're having on the next set of builds that we're doing for tracks and cars. And if you could, give us a big thumbs up because that helps out as well. So thanks so much. And we'll see you again soon.